Hey, my lovely YouTubers, welcome back to another morning coffee with me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J. Today's video is actually something a little off script. I'm going to just show you a really chill day with me doing a reset routine. These are those days when you've worked really hard and you just really need to reset. Okay, so let's get into this video. So the first part of a reset routine is actually getting some work done because I really don't think I can truly reset fully unless I complete the task that I've been needing to complete. So right here, I'm actually sitting down and I'm writing a blog post and I write weekly blog devotionals on my website, hisdaughtersclosset.com. And the reason I do this is because I know that it helps me. One of my gifts is writing. And so when I'm writing, I'm just flowing and I'm not thinking of anything and I'm not trying to be perfect or even critiqued. It's just me being true and authentic. And I love this as a part of my reset routine is I try to write some blogs because that flows naturally out of me and it makes me really happy. So the next thing is guys, I like to relax and to live. I don't know about you guys, but I can get very attached to my work. I can get very attached to the physical things of life. And so one thing I like to do, even when I'm in the midst of doing all the busyness of work from social media to content creation, to editing and things like this, I like to remind myself to slow down and to enjoy the moments. Like these are the moments I prayed for, even though I think they're mundane and they're long and kind of boring sometimes, but these are the moments I prayed for. And so I try to relax in this place and to experience the beauty of life again, even when I'm doing something I feel like is mundane or something that's going to take forever. I love to just flow with the spirit because I think that is a big way to have balance in your life. I don't really have a lot of balance, but I have a lot of flow in my life and I like to flow with wherever the spirit leads. And so that's a great way on how I try to reset. Hey, my lovely YouTubers. Today's video, I'm actually walking you through a reset kind of day, a reset routine. And I know you guys are used to me, but in reality, guys, sometimes you're working so hard and you need a break. You need a pause. You need a sila moment, okay? If you don't know what a sila moment, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box so you can get a free resource called the sila moment. That means you need a pause. You need a moment to breathe. You need a moment to take in the beauty of life again, okay? So I'm a big hardcore worker. You can tell by my life sometimes things get out of place, things get all over the place because I'm working and I've got all these ideas and I'm trying to accomplish every single idea, but there are things that get neglected too. Like this ficus lyrate over here leaning. I need to water this plant. I just got back from a small vacation and so I've been back into work like every day since I've got, I've only been home for about four days now. My clothes are still unpacked. I have clothes all on my counter, have not done laundry, the house is in shambles. And so I thought this today would be a great day to record a reset routine. Because boo, all I, you know I'm for working, I'm for going for your dreams and your goals. But if you don't take care of the ministry of home first, you can't go out there and take care of the other ministries. And so to this morning, I had to sit down and take care of my other ministry, but I knew that I need to take care of the ministry of home. 
home has to get in order. So I hope I can just take you along and show you some of my reset routine today because truly guys, it's not probably gonna be a lot of talking, hopefully not, because there's a lot I gotta do. And this is the reality of sometimes you can put a lot of your work before your home and then your home starts to look like shambles and it starts to affect with your work, okay? So anyways, this morning I made me some coffee and I also had to sit down and I had to write a blog I had to work with my editor um, on my blog. Then I had to edit my video. Not only that, I had to create the thumbnail, get it scheduled to go up, and then I had to set up the entire blog and design it. HisDaughtersCloset.com. Every Monday, I drop a weekly devotional that aligns with your morning coffee. However, the weekly devotional always has different points in it because I can exactly like go a lot more into detail and stuff too in those weekly devotionals. So if you have not signed up for my email list, boo, get on the email squad because it will bless your soul, okay? But... Anyways, guys, I'm hungry. It is time to clean up this house. I've got laundry everywhere. My dog is napping, so I'm gonna enjoy this moment of freedom real quick to get some things in order. But yeah, I'm gonna quit talking because I, th I got things to do. This is the reality of reality. Let's go. After I take my vitamins, I always like to try to unload the dishwasher and kind of put things back where they're supposed to go. And something I have a really big issue about is putting things in places they're not supposed to go, okay? So that's one thing I'm having to do on this particular day is kind of get a little more organized because I do love having a lot of pretty coffee mugs and I'm running out of room. And so I need to put the vitamins where they're actually were supposed to go, which was in this little cubby over here versus in those areas up there because that's where my mugs go. So this right here is just me taking my sweet time, just getting a little more organized and putting things where they're actually supposed to go. laundry started it's time to start to declutter and kind of get organized and one thing about me is I can literally just put things in certain places even though they don't go there and so that's one thing that I'm really working on is making sure that every evening I tidy up 
and specifically most evenings I do tidy up before I go to bed um, that helps me get my day started on a better note but I will say when it's weekends sometimes your girl just be being lazy okay and so that's why this one is just really was junky and so I love to tidy up okay you guys well I'm actually going to take a little break from cleaning and doing chores for this particular reset day and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some time to prayer journal which some people call this gratitude journaling some people call this brain dumping me I call it prayer journaling because to me it has truly helped me deal with my anger issues it has helped me deal with a lot of issues within my life that I have had I've had in the past and also some that I still have as in understanding um, feelings I have, dealing with emotions. It has something I've been doing for about eight or nine years now, and it has literally blessed my life tremendously. So I just have a notebook that I get from Walmart. Um, and so I'm going to just title it whatever I feel like it. I always try to write a date just so I can always go back. I have many journals, guys. And so I always go back some journals from five, six years ago, and I can see what I was going through and what I was praying through at the time. It's so helpful. So I'm going to do some prayer journaling, and after that, I'm going to do just some planning. Like I have another journal that I use, and I'm a, or a notebook, and I'm just going to plan out ideas and stuff, not necessarily putting times with it, but just kind of doing a, a, a word vomit and getting every idea and everything I have to do this upcoming week um, and things that I've been putting on the back burner, which really got to get done now. Also, too, when I do this, I turn on some really relaxing music. I turn on some chill music on my TV. My dog sleeps usually around me or behind me. And after I do this, I always try to read a really great book. And so depending on what you're into, I read a lot of personal development self-help books. I know some people are into like storybooks, you know, and things like that. Not me so much, but um, so I know my recommendations might not be great for every single person. I read a lot of personal development and self-help books, period, point blank. Like I, I, that, I don't know why, that's just who I am. I don't ever really read like nonfiction storylines, like girl who fell in love with so-and-so romantic like i don't read stuff like that it's just not my cup of tea but i do read a lot of personal development books so currently right now i'm reading don't drop the mic by td jakes right and i'm also reading i think i finished oh i'm reading living with purpose by dr miles monroe but it's really a devotional book so it's like an everyday read for dr miles monroe's book so anyways i'm gonna get to journaling and all that good stuff i'll see you in a moment I have free prayer journal prompts listed down below in the description box and also guys i will say this has really blessed my life not just because it allows me to deal with anger and stuff but it truly gives me a place to speak expressing our emotions is very pivotal as women and as beings we need to be able to express these emotions so they're not pent-up energy that gets used negatively and honestly in the past a lot of my pent-up energy and emotions was used negatively it was showing out in my actions and my triggers and a lot of stuff and so prayer journaling has been a great resource that has helped me face these issues also deal with these issues and truly come out better and dealing with them not saying i'm perfect now no but saying i don't allow these things to harbor me as much as they used to and I'm able to emotionally rationalize with a lot of the things going on on the inside of me so boo if prayer journaling is something you are interested in all you have to do is click the link in the description box because trust me I know they're gonna bless you I have some free prayer journal prompts that can really help you get started Okay, so now it's the evening time and I cook dinner off of camera and so this is me putting everything away also this is just something I like to do when I'm on a reset routine I like to cook enough dinner for maybe some lunches during the next few days while I'm working from home this is very helpful and this keeps me more you know prepared for the beginning of a new week 
also I like to clean up and this is what I usually do on weeknights is tidy up um, before I go to bed and so this is what I'm doing just tidying up going ahead and washing a few dishes loading the dishwasher this is when I would put things away and where they're supposed to actually go um, and I really like to do this because waking up to a new day with a fresh clean home is always such a great amazing feeling and I also like to go ahead and schedule my day for the next day. If I know I have a 9 a.m. meeting or 11 a.m. confidence call or, you know, planning call or something, this right here is where I write it out. And then I get ready for bed, guys. And honestly, this is so comforting. I just throw on some hot water, make some hot tea, drink something like chamomile with a little bit of honey. And this right here is my vibe. This is how I like to end most of my nights. And just get into a mindset of peace and rest and starting the week very strong with God. And yeah, that's just what I love to actually do. And last but not least, I like to just go ahead, put things away where they're supposed to go. And if I have any final things I want to journal about, any final prayers, any final scripture that I'm studying, I want to go over, any final book reading, this right here is when I get the chance to do so. So guys, that is my reset routine for a particular day. I hope you enjoyed this. I love you guys so much. Have a great day. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.